live. This is CBS 47 Action News Jacks at noon. Local coverage you can count on. Right now, police are investigating how a three-year-old boy ended up in an underground water tank in Arlington Park. What they're using to solve the mystery of his death. Plus, a suspect is caught after allegedly sexually attacking a 13-year-old girl. How a neighborhood came together and sent a man to jail. Welcome to Action News Jacks at Noon. I'm Letitia Barriola. And I'm Cole Heathen for Phil Amato. We begin with the tragic death of three-year-old Amari Harley. Right now, police are investigating surveillance video to piece together the moments leading up to his disappearance. As we told you, he was reported missing yesterday, just before 5 p.m., then just four hours later, his body was found in an underground water tank in Bruce Park in Arlington. We've learned complaints have been made about the park's safety in the past, and Action News Jax has full team coverage of the events surrounding Omari's disappearance. First, we start with Action News Jax, Jenna Bourne live at Bruce Park. And Jenna, that tank where Omari went missing can be easily stepped into. You can see these water tanks are covered only by flimsy wooden boards. We also spotted what looks like broken parts of plastic lids by this trash can. And this isn't some remote part of the park. It's right by the restrooms and the tennis court right over here. This is where crews found Amari Harley's body after he disappeared from a family gathering here at Bruce Park. Just half an hour ago, I caught up with District 1 Councilwoman Joyce Morgan. I asked her about tips we've been getting that people have complained about these water tank covers in the past. Was there a known issue here? Not that I know of, and that's the thing. I've been a council member for um, a little over two years. I asked my assistant, did we get any complaints? And that's what we're checking now to see if we got some. Uh, to my knowledge, we didn't. You can see there's a sign right by these underground water tanks with a number to call for emergencies. I called that number and it's no longer a working number. I'm working on that side of the story for you now. I'll have that all new for you at 5. Reporting live in Arlington, Jenna Bourne, CBS 47, Action News Jax. Families who live near Bruce Park believe this tragedy could have been prevented and now they're questioning the park's safety. Action News Jax, Beth Rousseau, she continues our team coverage and Beth, parents tell you they'll think twice before bringing their children back to Bruce Park. Parents that I've spoken to tell me that they are upset and that this hits way too close to home. Take a look. This is what they're seeing when they come up to this park. There's still crime scene tape out here. They tell me this is a sad reminder of a tragedy that should not have happened. It's actually quite sickening. Timothy Hubbard tells me he was planning a trip to Bruce Park with his kids until he heard a three-year-old's body was found in an underground water tank Sunday night. That raised a whole lot of questions in my mind. The father of two says it's a sad reminder of how a seemingly safe situation can quickly become dangerous. Sometimes I'd have to tell them more than once, <laughs> and by the time I tell them three or four times, they're already to their destination. Action News Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson tells me the openings to the tank are a serious flaw in an otherwise secure space, but a child's curiosity creates additional hazards. It's a closed in area and it's tight. You still have to watch the children because, uh, you know, an adult can persuade another child to lure a, a child somewhere. Parents tell me they'll be keeping an even closer eye on their children and inspecting the areas where they play. As a parent, I have to keep my wits about me. Parents tell me that they're going to have to see some major changes to this park before they bring their children back. All of that coming up on Action News Jax at 5. For now, we're live at Bruce Park this afternoon. Beth Russo, CBS 47, Action News Jax.